The Hobson family had been meaning to buy some new furniture for ages, but somehow they never got round to it. There were always so many other things to do. Then one day there was a big shout from Joe's room. The rest of the family ran to see what was the matter. Joe's desk had collapsed. There were bits of wood and pens and papers all over the floor. And in the middle was Joe. I was just doing my homework, he said, and then ban. The desk broke. Everything fell over. I was so surprised that I fell over too. Billa giggled. You do look funny. That decides it, said mum. We need to buy some new furniture before anything else breaks. Billa needs a new bed. And Joe definitely needs a desk, so that he can do his homework. So that weekend, the family got up early, and set off for the big furniture store outside town. It was huge. The family had a trolley which they wheeled around the displays. There was so much furniture, some of it was arranged like in a real house. I want this, yelled Billa, running over to a big sofa. She climbed onto it and started jumping up and down. Look, it's bouncy like a trampoline. Billa, get down, said Dad. You'll break something. Billa ran to a chair that spun on its stand. This is fun, she yelled, spinning in circles. Careful Billa, cried Mum. Look, I'm playing houses, said Billa, crawling under a table. Billa loved playing houses. That's enough. Mum took tight hold of Billa's hand. Billa didn't like it but she had to stay close. The family chose a new bed for Billa. They chose a bedside table and cupboard too. Then they went to look at desks for Joe. Billa was bored now, and tired. She didn't say much, while the rest of the family discussed which desk to get. Joe had found one he liked but mum and dad couldn't agree, it's too big, said mum. There's not enough space in his room. It's too small, said dad. There's not enough space for his homework. I think it's just right, said Joe, let's get a cup of tea while we try and decide, said mum. There's a cafe in the store. Dad thought this was a good idea. He needed a sit down, he said, and Joe really wanted a milkshake. What do you think, Billa, asked mum. Then she looked round. Where is she? I bet she's jumping on the sofa. But there was no sign of Billa on the sofa. Then Joe wondered if she could be spinning on the chair. Sure enough. The chair was spinning round. But when he looked more closely he saw it was a different child, not Billa. Mum and Dad were really worried now, where can she have gone, asked Mum. I told her to stay right next to us. She's never done anything like this before, said Dad. Joe felt worried too. What could have happened to Billa? Suddenly. Joe spotted something. I think she did stay right next to us. He pointed at the floor and they all saw Billa's foot. It was poking out from underneath the desk Joe wanted. They crouched down and peered underneath. Curled up like a cat, was Billa, fast asleep. When Joe nudged her, she woke up and came crawling out. What were you doing? Joe asked. Billa yawned. I was seeing if your new desk was big enough to play houses, said Billa. And it is. Mum and Dad told Billa she must never do anything like that again. Though, as Billa pointed out, she hadn't meant to fall asleep. Mum and Dad weren't too annoyed.
After all, it had been an accident. They bought the desk, and then they let Joe and Billa choose milkshakes in the cafe. Joe had banana flavor and Billa chose strawberry. Yum yum.